So, today we are in Bendigo uh, on an emergency cutout. There is a hive in this wall. We have three demolition boys. It, they, 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 they say they're construction workers, but really all I've seen them doing is destroying things. Um, they, they are um, currently doing more demo work, but they pulled some walls off inside and uh, exposed enough of the hive that they can't work in there properly anymore. Um, and it's a really big hive. It goes from roof line down most of the wall. So we'll, we'll um, help them out, get them out, as they keep destroying things. Okie dokie, so we pulled the boards off, um, did a really good cut along up the studs, um, and you'll see that's the hive. It goes up, up higher, but I can't get that board out easily. Um, so it's a lovely hive. The, the, the guys are impressed, uh, ex e except for the fact they're getting stung. And um, uh, Fallon, for your reference, they do scream like um, little boys when they, when they get stung. Um, yeah. yeah. Little girls. Yeah. Well, fa 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 Fallon's a girl. And she does not scream when she gets stung. <laughs> oh, but, but is she a girl or a little girl? She, she's 23, you know. Oh, so, so you, so, so you, so you, you definitely scream like little boys uh, <laughs> because I get in trouble when I say little girls because I get told I'm being derogatory to girls. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> given, PC, and, and given I work with four women, you be I've got to be very yeah. politically correct. And you know this is going to go on YouTube as well. Yeah, that's so, all right. so. Cross. <laughs> 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 okay, so we've gotten the first layer off. Um, it does go two inches, or about four and a half, five centimeters higher than the bottom of that top weather board. So not too much isn't exposed. Um, but the the hard bit was that left hand side was almost all honey and um, honey. Uh, is hard to work with when you're doing what we're doing. Um, the hive's got a lot of new comb in it, which tells me it's been here a lot less longer than I thought. Um, like, I would put the age of the hive at around three to five years. Um, but yeah, it's been here a little while, but not as I thought it, originally thought it would be seven to eight years beautiful hive, calm bees. Okay. The boys literally just left and the very next piece of comb I cut out up there, um, this piece had the queen. Um, so yeah, that makes things a bit easier from here. We will put her in a cage, put her between the frames there and work as fast as we can on the rest. Okay, I've got the huge bulk of the hive out um, and have discovered that the hive does go up a heap further. It goes up a good 30 centimetres further um, there. Be um, what I was hitting and thinking it would stop was a piece of timber because when I broke that web board to get the last little bit, I found a piece of timber <laughs> and it was like, damn it. And then more careful exploration, found the hive goes a lot higher, but I've got the queen, I've got almost the brood so far, I've got a bit more to go. Um, it's unfortunately started to rain, you'll see it's all wet and wet, but it's not pelting down. So, um, We'll get the last of the brood in the hive box, then we'll um, put a couple extra boxes on to start bee back in, um, uh, get as much of it in um, as possible. The bees are getting stingy because it's raining, so I want to limit, uh, reduce the number of bees, but it'd be better to have all the brood in first. Fun times. Okay, we've started the BVAC um, because we've got all the brood in the box. Um, the other resources will just get fed back to them. Uh, but 
see. As we know, the hive goes up a heap further than what we see, but um, I'll have to sort that out at the end. Um, eight frames of brood, um, some plastic foundation frames, and um, and the uh, an airbox on top. So now we'll be back and get the remainder of the bees. Okay, it's getting dark out there, um, but I'm working my way through it. It's the cavity that just keeps on giving. Um, you'll see uh, more and more bees. Uh, thankfully, I've got the queen. Um, so I've just got to get the bulk of these girls and some boys and we'll be right but whew, there's a lot of them there okay I've come up to the roof the girls are in under the tiles um, so I need to move some tiles to get the rest of them but we're nearly done okay um, there's a very few left um, in little gaps that I can't get to. Some are running out of the gaps, but there's not many left on the whole. We've got the, the whole lot of them. Um, they were all up in the roof cavity in this section as well. Um, but yay, nearly done. Okay, there's that little cavity there that we have some bees in that are coming out, but I'm not going to break plaster to get them out. They'll be tiny amount in there, not many at all. Um, tiles are back on the roof, cavities now predominantly empty. Um, we did when we were cutting the comb drop our, the knife and some comb um, down the, the wall so I had to cut two down the bottom just to get my knife and that comb back but on the whole we're done it was a long job we had rain we had sun we had everything so now it's pack up time okay bees running around in the box now all vacuumed up awesome um the wall uh, almost no bees left very very few um, just a handful um, and unfortunately two broken tiles on the roof um, when I was putting the tiles back I knelt awkwardly and my knee broke two tiles so we'll have to let the guys know they need to sort that out too but on the whole, whew, that was a big job, a big, big job, fun times, but it's all done, now off to quarantine. <laughs>